Climate change is an urgent global crisis that requires immediate attention and focus. Its consequences are already evident with rising global temperatures, melting ice caps, more frequent and severe natural hazards, and altered weather patterns. In the face of this issue, public awareness plays a crucial role in driving necessary changes to mitigate and adapt to climate change. A well-informed public can create a ripple effect, fostering a sense of urgency and collective responsibility. Public awareness is crucial in the fight against climate change. Keeping this in mind, let me introduce you to the topic of our discussion, that is, public perception of carbon capture and storage in India. Hello everybody, my name is Gauravi Patil. I am a student of the Department of Geology, St. Xavier's College, Mumbai. India meets its energy demands mostly by burning fossil fuels. India's carbon dioxide emissions have been increasing every year with an increment of 4.7%. The major sectors that contribute the most to our CO2 emissions are the power sector, road transport and the iron and steel industry. The IPCC 2023 report has stated that human activities continue to largely contribute to global warming. It has also stated that implementing green technologies such as CCS is crucial. For this, increased public awareness of such technologies is equally important. Otherwise, it can hinder the progress of green technologies. Speaking along the same lines, public awareness of CCS is not very high globally. Many surveys have been conducted across several countries to understand the common man's perception of CCS. However, no such Indian survey has been published as of yet. We conducted a survey in India, in a suburb of Mumbai. The objectives of the survey were to check the level of awareness about CCS and climate change in general, and also know their opinion on the implementation of CCS in India. The survey also served as a means to introduce the topic among the general public. Some of the survey statistics are as follows. We had a sample size of 55 in this survey. This was conducted in Jankalyan Nagar, Malad West, Mumbai. The age range was from ages 14 to 60 and above. A variety of participants were seen, right from homemakers to teachers, engineers, chartered accountants and many more. So without any further ado, let's look at the analysis of some preliminary questions. People were asked about their belief in climate change and whether they believed if climate change is a real issue or not. As we can see here, majority of the respondents believed in the trueness of climate change. When asked about the impact of human activities on the climate, 89.1% of the respondents indicated that climate change is driven by human activities to a large extent. None of the participants denied both the claims. This shows that people are well aware of climate related issues and also about the contributors to those problems. But to what extent are they aware of technologies that can help mitigate these issues? Let's find out. As we can see here, most people are aware of solar energy, wind energy and energy saving appliances. Almost none of them were completely unaware about these. Among the lesser known ones, awareness of CCS was the lowest. Let's talk about CCS in more detail. As this chart shows, more than half of the participants had never heard about CCS. Very few, that's 5.5% of them, claimed to be very well aware of it. These results were seen before any information on CCS was provided. For the following questions, brief information on CCS was provided in the survey. Here are some results. Four statements were provided to the participants and they were asked to choose the ones that described their views in the best possible manner. As we can see here, 49.1% of the participants believe that CCS can be very useful and an efficient technology and it can help in solving climate change. 38.2% of them indicated that they needed more knowledge about CCS before forming an opinion. 
However, a small amount of them, that's 7.3% stated that CCS may just be a quick fix solution and may not solve climate change in the long run. In another question, they were asked about their views on implementing CCS, keeping the proximity to their vicinity in mind. But before we get to that, let's understand what this term means. NIMBY or not in my backyard is a term used to describe the attitude of people who think that a certain development may be useful for the society but do not want it to happen anywhere near their homes or their communities. For example, a person may agree that CCS is useful and important for the society but they are fine with it as long as it is not implemented anywhere around the area in which they live. In this question, people were asked about their opinion on two situations. First, implementing CCS either a few kilometers away from their vicinity or second, tens of kilometers away from their vicinity. The NIMBY effect was expected here. However, the public has equally supported both claims. Very few respondents strongly opposed the implementation of CCS a few kilometers away from their vicinity and no opposition was seen for its implementation tens of kilometers away. This is in line with the NIMBY effect. However, it is important to note the large amount of support received for both situations. Now let's look at one of the most important aspects, that is, people's trust towards organizations to provide information on CCS. Research institutes and scientists working for the universities were trusted the most while local authorities and the national government were some of the least trusted sources to provide information on CCS. Again, the participants were provided with three statements and were asked to choose the ones that best described their views. As we can see here, 80% of the people would want the government to involve the public while making any decisions on climate change mitigation. Almost half of them would be interested in taking part in related public discussions. Very few people were unbothered by climate change. The participants were asked to choose technologies that they would like to implement if they were given a choice to do so. Solar energy, energy saving appliances and wind energy took up the first three spots and CCS took up the fourth spot and received almost the same number of votes as wind energy did. People have voted for CCS in spite of limited information provided to them. Towards the end of the survey, the participants were asked to state if they were concerned about any negative effects of CCS. They were free to type in their views and were given no prompts. Some concerns included leakage of carbon, effect on soil quality, water contamination, accidents on site, etc. Few interesting points were also made. One participant gave the example of the deadly Bhopal gas tragedy and were concerned if a similar accident could take place. Some thought that people will be careless about their carbon footprint as they will think that their emissions will get collected later on. A response also stated that the main cause of any such innovation gets dissolved due to organizational corruption these were a few concerns that were brought up by the participants. However, a large number of them said that they needed more information on CCS before forming an opinion. Finally, the participants were asked if they found CCS useful and if they would support it. As we can see here, a very positive response was received with almost 85% of the people supporting it and a 0% opposition was seen. This research highlights the fact that the general public is not very aware about carbon capture and storage. Most people have never heard about it and the ones who have heard of it have little to no knowledge about CCS. However, people indicated their interest to know more and even expressed that it seems to be a very promising technology. The general public does acknowledge that climate change is a real issue and also believe that human activities significantly contribute to it but the awareness and level of knowledge about green technologies is not that high. It is a good sign that the problem has been addressed, but simply acknowledging the problems is not going to help much. It is more important to know about the technologies and developments that can help solve these issues. 
As we saw earlier, people were well aware of solar energy, energy saving appliances and wind energy. This is probably because these are very well documented and are, and are very much in use. For the successful implementation of CCS, public awareness is essential. In an age where misinformation spreads like wildfire, it is important to seek correct information from verified and reliable sources. To achieve a true transformation, we must also address the barriers and misconceptions that hinder the widespread adoption of green technologies. Another important point to note here is a general lack of trust towards the national government and the local authorities was seen. However, people have indicated that they would like to get involved when the government makes any decisions on climate change mitigation. This coexistence of the common man and the authorities can help bridge the gap that is causing this mistrust. Finally, by fostering public awareness, education and participation, we can pave way for the successful implementation of CCS as a crucial tool in the fight against climate change and ultimately leading us toward a more sustainable planet for generations to come. Thank you. These are the images that I have used and these are my references. Thank you.